Hello and welcome. You're watching to the point. In an explosive interview, former Himachal Chief Minister and former member of Mr. Vajpayee's cabinet, Shanta Kumar, has claimed that three ministers and the majority of the BJP support and agree with the letter he has written to BJP president. He says Vyapam has damaged the BJP and suggests, if you read between the lines, that Shivraj Chauhan should resign. He also asserts that he still believes Narendra Modi should have stepped down as Gujarat Chief Minister in 2002, although today he believes he is the right man to be Prime Minister. Finally, Shanta Kumar claims Atul Bihari Vajpayee was forced to drop him from the cabinet under pressure in 2003 and did so with tears in his eyes. Watch Shanta Kumar's explosive revelations and claims in part two of tonight's show. But first, Shushma Swaraj's tweets have added further fuel to the Congress's fury. She claims the senior Congress leader pressed her to give diplomatic passports to Santosh Bagrodia, a former minister accused in the cold scam. Is this her defence or just an attempt to throw mud? But does it also suggest that the Congress has no moral right to target her? With me is BJP spokesperson GVL Narsimha Rao and Congress spokesperson and MP Rajiv Gowda. Mr. Narsimha Rao, Shushma Saraj has tweeted that a senior Congress leader was pressing her hard to give a diplomatic passport to the coal scam accused Santosh Bagrodia and she says she will disclose his name on the floor of the house. Is she throwing mud because she's desperate or is this the only defence left to her? I think she has only uh, uh, revealed, uh, she has tried to possibly hold a mirror to the Congress party uh, uh, because they've been uh, rather unfairly targeting her for giving uh, 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 certain, uh, for, for helping Lalit Modi procure travel documents in the UK on humanitarian considerations and uh, she has actually tried to tell the Congress your own top leaders have actually been trying to help out uh, a tainted uh, a Congress leader, a Congress minister who is facing charges of bribery, cheating, criminal conspiracy and, and uh, some more charges under uh, which are being pursued in the CBI special court uh, which is examining various uh, uh, cases of uh, bribery in coal scam. You know, the truth Rajiv Gowda is that in fact Santosh Bagrodia is charged with corruption, with criminal conspiracy, with cheating and a CBI judge has now taken cognizance of those charges. So in fact, a judicial mind has been applied and those charges have been accepted. Should a senior Congress leader, whoever that person may be, plead for a diplomatic passport for such an individual? Well, Karan, what happens is that whenever someone applies for a diplomatic passport, only under certain conditions are they even eligible for it. If Mr. Bagrodia is eligible for it, then there's no reason for anyone to petition Mrs. Swaraj to give him one or not. For whatever reason, if, this, uh, if the judicial process has come in the way, then people do, you know, constantly give references to one another and say, hey, come on, just, uh, you know, this guy came to me, he was saying he hasn't got something, just help him out or something of that sort. Now, the basic point is, Mrs. Swaraj seems to have a reputation for half-truths and this is exactly what is coming out here. She has gone out of her way to you know, change government policy uh, in, uh, with Britain on the issue of going after Lalit Modi, who the Enforcement Directorate is about to issue a non-bailable warrant for. She has enabled him to go out there and escape Indian scrutiny, run away from here. She has suppressed facts about conflict of interest which uh, her family members have in that whole Lalit Modi case, including the case that was against her own ministry on the passport issue. So I don't think Sushma Swaraj has any credibility and the, this is a desperate diversionary tactic of a uh, cornered can culprit. I, can I, can exactly I interrupt? This is. You began your answer with an explanation that people do do favours, they do give references on behalf of friends. So are you therefore accepting one fundamental truth that a senior Congress leader did ring up Mrs. Swaraj and did plead for a diplomatic passport for Santosh Bagrodia? That is clearly what you are suggesting that you accept it. I'm now asking you up front. We do not know whether that is a fact or not. We do not know whether the courts have to be involved in something no, no, of that sort or not. Out. Leave the courts out. Leave the courts out. Did a Congress leader statement. speak to we Mrs. Only, Swaraj? We, 
Mrs. Swaraj has made uh, thrown a, a, a flown a kite in the air. We have no idea whether that is true or not. And more than that, we have no. Uh, Mrs. Swaraj has no credibility left. Well, well, we'll come so to Mrs. No Swaraj's credibility to later. Well. We'll come to Mrs. Swaraj's credibility later. Let's take the questions one by one. I'm going to go back to Narsimha Rao. What I don't understand, Mr. Narsimha Rao, is how does Sushma Swaraj's position improve? by claiming that a congressman, whoever that person may be, asked her to do something improper or even wrong. Two wrongs, as you know, don't make a right. So how is she making a defense of herself by suggesting that the Congress party in the shape and form of this unknown leader has done something that's equally bad? Um, she's, she's only pointing, she's only, as I said, the holding a mirror to the Congress party and she's willing to give more details. A mirror details to the Congress party or a mirror to, to herself? In Parliament. Because this gentleman and is alleged to have done no, something I, I as bad as what charges. she did. The mirror, I think, is to show her own face no, and to tell herself, I'm not as bad, there are others as bad as me. No, I, I think uh, the, the statements, the, uh, the, the assertions that Mr. Gowda makes are factually incorrect. Either he is unaware of the facts or he is deliberately misleading. There are no, there was no bailable warrants or non-bailable warrants that could have been issued. Lalit Modi was only facing a simple lookout no, no, notice. No, 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 no. Come the back, UPA come government back, did come back to, really to the get, issues we are talking get, get about. Lalit Both of back. you are very keen so to deflect no, no, and divert saying, by going off the subject. Come back to this. No, I'm no, asking you a simple question. Mr. Nasmara, I asked you a simple question. How does Shushma Swaraj improve her position by suggesting that a Congress leader has asked her to do something wrong? Two wrongs don't make a right. How is this it, a defense? No, I, I think, no, she is only saying what I did was on a humanitarian consideration and this aid was given to a lady who was a patient and to her husband who was only facing some charges mm. and, and what you have done and the kind of uh, recommendations that you have been making okay. are far worse. Uh, what moral standard do you have to raise questions about me? That's the clear message. Uh, Mr. Gowda, there may, be, there may be a point in the second half of Narasimha Rao's answer, and I want to put that to you. Because one point that Mrs. Swaraj has clearly made is to make it clear that making requests for friends is part of the Indian political tradition, and you conceded that yourself a moment ago in one of your earlier answers. And therefore, what she's saying is that what she did for Lalith Modi is no worse than what the Congress leader has asked her to do for Bagrodia. Therefore, why should she resign? Well, very, very clearly, Sushma Swaraj has broken many rules, uh, evaded um, the government's processes and procedures when she went out of her way using the, the excuse of humanitarian grounds. Basically, you know the story. It's been she confessed to all this out in the public, and she should have been uh, sacked a long time ago. Basically, we had a UPA government request to the US, UK government saying we need this guy back. Do not enable him to settle in the UK. She reversed that policy. She did not use uh, any uh, proper channels to reverse that policy. She, instead, she went out of her way to talk to the US Actually, uh, com High Commissioner, me, UK Gowda, High Commissioner. I must correct you. She, You've she, got your uh, facts uh, wrong. One you got your facts she, wrong. What Mr. Chidambaram said was did, not we need him back because he did, didn't did, ask for extradition, nor did he say don't permit him to settle in the UK because he'd already got settlement permission in the UK. Mr. Chidambaram was simply saying don't give him documents to travel. So let's get the facts right. But the point is this. The point I'm making is this. All Just right. as you accept friends make references for friends, similarly Mr. Swaraj is in return saying what she did is no worse than what the uh, Congress leader asked her to do on behalf of Bagrodia. Therefore, why should she resign? Answer that key point. Did she do that for Bagrodia? First of all, Mr. Bagrodia is a former minister and an ex-MP and therefore possibly eligible for a diplomatic passport. Maybe by not giving him one, she has actually made a mistake. On the other hand, let me point out that 
in, in the other case, she went out of her way to help someone who is an economic fugitive. All right, so there is no comparison between the two cases. She's trying to th throw some mud to uh, make this whole situation a little more muddy and unclear. It is a pure diversionary tactic, okay. and there is no moral authority on the basis of which Ms. Uh, Swaraj can go about uh, functioning as external affairs minister anymore. What, uh, what uh, worries me is, looks like everyone seems to know that She's uh, em eminently amenable to all kinds of intervention with all kinds of uh, potentially dubious people. Is that the reputation she has in circles here? I don't know. Let's let Mr. Narasimharao answer that. That is a clever accusation and inference that she's drawing. That if Mrs. Suraj can be approached first by Lalit Modi for favors, then she can be approached by unnamed Congress leaders. Has she let it be known that she's amenable to such approaches from anyone and everyone? And does that also suggest that as foreign minister, she's prepared to exercise discretion or to exercise her power to help a whole lot of people, regardless of whether it's humanitarian, proper or wrong? That's the impression that she's creating by her own tweet. Uh, Karan, I, th I think uh, certainly uh, uh, Mr. Gowda is factually incorrect when he says uh, Mr. Chidambaram uh, created a, a national policy. This could at best be his own uh, act of... Uh, I simply, asked you about uh, Mrs. Uh, Suraj, you're talking uh, about Mr. Uh, Chidambaram uh, instead. To... At least let no, me no, note I, to the audience no, you're deflecting. It's important that the facts are placed in correct domain. No, Mrs. Swaraj certainly has, the foreign minister has the discretion to give a diplomatic passport or not to give. It's not a matter of right for every ex-minister or ex-member of parliament. She's only in, telling if the she Congress has that party, discretion, what then what's wrong in someone made? asking her to exercise it? No, but where is the morality here? You are trying to preach morality to us. You are trying to, uh, you are questioning okay. the foreign minister as to why she helped a lady who was in distress. And on the other hand, you want all facilities no, and no. diplomatic passport. Right. For Gentlemen, what reasons? Gentlemen, what, let what, me, let what, me, let what me put a... What was Mr. Bagrodia going to do there? Let me put a similar sort of question to both of you. Because I want to try and see if we can get to the bottom line very quickly before we have to end this part. If Shushma Swaraj, Mr. Narasimha and I'll start with you, can make a statement to the parliamentary party as she did today... Why can't she make that statement to the press? Why can't she make that statement to the country? Why is she silent in front of the country, but happy to explain herself to the party behind closed doors? Speak to your countrymen, settle the issue, let us know what your defense is and be done with. Why doesn't she take that critical, credible step? I think, uh, Karan, she, uh, uh, the moment these allegations were made against her, a month ago or a slightly longer than that i think in a manner of minutes she acknowledged in 140 and unlike the congress party which, on a which tweet is not an explanation the been, matter has grown to no, much greater proportions since then no, no, but this She's morning only uh, let me let, responded let me just with one, silence let me slip in two sentences why is the congress silent she made these revelations in the morning why doesn't anyone in the congress party own up all and right. say, yes, I did make this request. That is Why precisely, is the Congress party running away? That is precisely the question I was going to put to Mr. Garda. You preempted me. Surely, Mr. Garda, the time has come for Congress to actually officially declare who was this leader who spoke to Mrs. Faraj? Get him to speak to the public or the press and to explain what he said, what he didn't say, and why he said it, so that this matter is cleared up. Because if you think there's nothing wrong in making a reference on behalf of a friend, then tell us who did it and what he said and why he said it. Or she. Mrs. Swaraj, uh, uh, he or she. Zero. Go ahead, she Mr. Gowda. Absolutely. Uh, there is no reason for us to, uh, to, be, for us to believe what she says. She is just using this as a diversionary tactic. We have seen before that even what he, uh, Ms. Narsim Rao says, that she came out with the truth. She came out with a fraction of the truth. Uh, you know, the truth about conflict of interest did not come out. The truth about interference yes, with James Bevan, the High Commissioner, did not come out. What about the truth about the Congress leader who spoke to her? Why don't you bring out. that truth so, out and so let us know not, what he said? Let her come out with the accusation. All let right, her come out with naming the person and that person will respond. There is no problem with, uh, you know, let her come out. What is All she right, writing? Gentlemen. You know, she has a let's, long track record of terrible political judgment. Let's leave it there. I'm going to point she out somewhat lightheartedly that both of you Mrs. are Sushma each Swaraj other's match no at evading the question and evading the problem. I congratulate you both for having done it so successfully for the last 20 minutes. But there we're going to have to end this particular part of tonight's show.